I think the most recent one, though, that was pretty, pretty captivating, um, you know, when I really kind of realized how our program helps, helps the lives of not only the, the veteran, but, but the extended family was um, a young lady that was in a domestic violence situation. And um, we were able to successfully assist her in relocating um, out of state, um, providing resources not only for her, but also for her, her child. Um, and those resources, you know, she called in for resources here in this state um, for her to exit that situation. But we were able to provide resources for this state and then the new state that she was um, traveling to. Um, to the point that she was able to successfully set up in, in, the, new, in the new state and her new situation um, with limited to no cost um, incurred to her. Um, we were also able to successfully connect her to new providers in that state um, and not just mental health providers, but you know, uh, medical providers, uh, services for her child too. Um, and, and that would have been just really difficult if we you know, had not really had one person that was following her case. Um, sometimes people will, you know, relocate to other areas of the state or other states or even other countries, and we lose them, uh, and we lose sometimes that, uh, you know, continuity of care. But in this circumstance, we we had so many providers that were willing to help, and and so such a large reach. And people knew of our program in other states that when we called and said, hey, this is you know, who we are, this is what, what we're doing, this is the work they were, you know, were doing, um, they were successfully able to, yes, absolutely, let's get her into services right away. That was definitely a success. And then, of course, the other, the other successes for her were you know, being able to continue her mental health services, her medications, her medical needs. And then, of course, the child, you know, um, we focus a lot on, on our veterans um, and our service members, but, you know, they're, if their families are struggling, then um, in this particular individual's case, that was her, her own safety and mental health and medical needs really wasn't her priority. It was her child's. So for us, that meant that that had to be our priority, too. And then once the child was secure and in services and doing well, then we were able to go back to mom and say, OK, now it's your turn.